Hey guys, so this is just a Netflix recommendation video. I've been watching Netflix for about since I was like in high school and I'm a junior now. So I pretty much know <laughs> a little bit about Netflix. Um, I love it. I binge watch it all the time. Um, freshman year, it's all I watched. And disclaimer, my hair is in a bun back here. So I do have hair if you guys are wondering. Um, first off, I'm going to start off with my number one favorite. If I ever ask somebody about a show, I always ask them, is, is it this good? Like, is it Breaking Bad good? And that's my first one. That's my top um, favorite Netflix series, and that's Breaking Bad. Um, Breaking Bad is so good. It's like action. It has some like love story in there. And um, it's about this, this um, teacher and he, uh, this chemistry teacher, and he starts making drugs. So I really, really recommend this one because it's like so good and action packed and the way the story involves is like great. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too much into any of these shows I'm going to tell you because I don't want to spoil anything. But Breaking Bad is about a chemistry teacher who starts making drugs and selling it to like a cartel and stuff like that. Really good. Uh, my next favorite is Grey's Anatomy. I love Grey's Anatomy. That's like one of my, another one of my favorites. I still watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm waiting for it to come back on, um, on regular TV. Um, Grey's Anatomy has love stories in there. It has death. It has great storyline for like 10, it has the same characters from like the start to the finish. Um, some die, some leave, but mostly everyone's still there and it's so good. Um, about this, like, a hospital. It's about, like, a hospital, and then the, pe the people that work for the hospital, they go from interns to doctors, basically. And it's so good. I recommend that. Um, another one, um, 90210. I watched this, um, a few years back, and it was really, really good. Um, I really liked it. It's about, 90210 was about, like, just some preppy kids in... High school, like they were all like kind of, they were all really rich actually, and they were in high school, and then they went to college, and it just shows them from like high school to college, like getting married and stuff. And it's like such a good show. Um, I really liked it. It was kind of like corny a little bit, but I, it was like so like gravitating that I just had to keep on watching it, so I like always watched it. So Nano Two One Zero was a great one. Another one that's similar. If you like Nano Two One Zero, then you'll love this one. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl was so good. It was kind of corny as well, but I loved it. The storyline from it, it was about basically rich people, like the preppies and all that stuff, and then how they like kind of unfold in, in high school to when they graduate, and then they start doing their own thing, like owning fashion companies and being models and stuff like that. It's a really good show. I recommend that. Um, another one is Vampire Diaries. I love Vampire Diaries. If you watch this show, you'll be addicted. Elena Gilbert is amazing. Um, Stefan, amazing. Um, who's the other one? Damon. Damon's amazing. It's just a great show. Um, it's a love story. It's like a lot of love story in that show. So if you're into like love stories and you'll love that show, um, it's great. Um, I don't want to tell you any too much about that. I just want you guys to watch it it's about vampires. And that's what, that's what I'm leaving with. It's about vampires and love. So I'll leave you with that. Now from Vampire Diaries, if you watch Vampire Diaries and you haven't watched this show, you need to watch it. The Originals. I just, I myself just started watching that one and I am addicted. My sister recommended, well, I recommended it to her to watch. I recommended Vampire Diaries for her to watch and I recommend The Originals, but I never watched The Originals. And let me tell you, I spent two days in my room, didn't leave, didn't go anywhere because the originals is that good. Um, it's, it's like, um, it cut, it takes the characters that are in Vampire Diaries and puts them into, uh, the originals. So it, it's like a, what's it called? It's like a, you know, the word, it's like a spinoff of the Vampire Diaries. So the characters from Vampire Diaries are also in the originals. And it's like, it builds off basically more so with um, the original characters of how um, vampires originated from. So it's a really good show. I really recommend watching that. Um, like I said, I spent two days in my room watching that one. Um, another one is Being Mary Jane. Now this is a total different, 
um, show from the previous shows that I've just recommended to you guys. But Be Your Mary Jane is so good. It's about this woman that is does so well with um her business with her with her career and everything but has trouble in her life with love um she's like a 40 year old 30 to 40 year old woman and she's done she's doing great with her career has so much money like provides for her family like gives her family all this money but then she has a really hard time finding a man and it's just really good um storyline everything like that to show you how being successful use and you can't be so successful to where you can't find anybody it's like that so it's really good really recommend that one um another one is supernatural i have not watched supernatural in a minute but i did spend a lot of time watching this in my room um it has like 10 series and they're all like all the episodes are an hour long i don't know how i finished it so fast but i did finish it in record time and it was so good because it's about like demons and like supernatural stuff um like angels and demons and stuff like that and it's really really good um really really good show very action in it it does have like a little love story not really but kind of it's more action based in the storyline of it so each and each episode is different like each episode deals with like a new supernatural thing um so it's really cool um, another one is Prison Break. I recommend this. I recommended this one to my parents and they loved it. They could not stop watching it. Um, I could not stop watching this one. It was so good. Prison Break is so action driven. Um, it's about, um, this guy that gets, that goes to jail to go save his brother. And, um, he puts himself in jail to just, just to allow his brother to escape. So it's really good, the action of it, the storyline of it, and it changes, like the storyline like completely changes, like to season like three, season three like changes completely, and it's so good, um, they end up going to like a whole different like another country in it, um, but I'll let you guys watch that to find out why they went to another country, so I'm not going to give you a spoiler. Another one that you like can always watch, no matter when or whatever, because every episode is different, it really doesn't... It does connect like you do want to start from like the first seasons but um you do want to start with the first seasons but you can watch it like whenever you like you can pick up whatever you want whenever you want and that is law and order svu um it's so good it's about special victims units so it's like a, about like rape victims and child molesters and stuff like that but it's so good because you get to see like the bad guys go away and that's why I like it. And you get to see like the, the, the story of why that girl was raped or like that person was killed. You get to see like the storyline of why that happened and like um it's really good. I'm not gonna say too much because you have to watch for yourself to find out. Um another one is Lost. Lost is a great series. It's very mysterious. Like um when you watch it, you're gonna be like a little bit confused for from it. Um you're gonna want to like have someone that has already watched it like um, tell you about it because it's really good it's really confusing how it ends is really weird too um the last episode is kind of like kind of scary actually when you watch it but lost is great like the you can't when you watch it you cannot stop watching it because the first the last episode that happens goes and you have it's like a cliffhanger so you, you have to turn in to watch the next episode so it's just a great, Lost is a great series to watch. I recommend that one. Um, and it's about people that are on a plane. They end up, the plane end up falling and they end up on this like island that no one has ever heard of and they're missing forever and their family can't find them and all this stuff. So they have to survive on this island, on this mysterious island that has like magical powers. Um, and then the last one is Orange is the New Black. Now this is for a mature audience because this one has like nudity in it. It's like the only one that has like nudity and like cussing, a lot of cussing in it. But it's these it's about women in prison and how they like survive and like the woman that goes the the woman that's based off of it, she's she's like um not really a criminal. She just got in there because of her girlfriend got her in there. So um it shows her how she like evolves to becoming like to to survive in prison. It's funny. It's funny. It's really really funny actually. 
and good. Um, the first season is great. The second season is, uh, it's okay. But the first season is awesome. I recommend watching that. That's a Netflix original series as well. None of the other ones I said are Netflix originals, but this one is. So yeah, these are my top 12. These are my top 12 um, favorite Netflix shows. Um, I will let you know that you guys will love these shows. Like these, these are not anything that you would not like because I like them. I was addicted to them. I stayed in my room forever watching it. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Please comment below if you do pick one or you do like one of these videos that I have talked about and we can like talk about the shows in the comments or something like that. But um, yeah, let me know and I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.